best standard first and second course tire. Like if we were going 10 courses up, we'd use probably two courses of these, and then we would go down to a 225, 75 R15 for the next two or three courses, then we would go down to a 215, 75 R15 for the next two or three courses, then we would go down to a 205, so the tires are just kind of getting smaller and smaller. And because 205 is smaller than a 235, that 75, that aspect ratio is smaller, so the tires are getting smaller, even though this opening is staying the same. 75 R15. I'm going to start reading it backwards though. The R means radius, 15 inch, right there. Okay. That fits a 15 inch rim. And so then the 75, it's a, it's a percentage, it's an aspect ratio. Okay. This width here, from here to here, is 75% of this width. And then 235. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm always, I'm ne I've never been clear about this. I think that's in millimeters. So this is actually 235 millimeters. It's a blend of metric and imperial. It's so, it, the tire industry that's is the so weird. weird. <laughs> so, once you just get to know tires, you don't really care. You care about the number, but you just know that that one's going to work. Here's my list of tires that I know work. Because, because we're against a hillside and we're berming. Yeah. And that, you know, earth is pushing yeah. against the wall. We're building a retaining wall. And in this case, it's not a reinforced concrete retaining wall where you just go up straight and, you know, that concrete can retain it. This way, we're, we're using the dirt to resolve forces. We're going to compact this earth as we go up with this tire. We're going to have to backfill and we're going to be using gravel as well. Lean into the hill. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically resisting the force of the hill. And that the forces, instead of just the tire wall being straight down here, all the forces, um, compression forces would be on the bottom course of the tires. As we go up the hill and compact the fill behind it, some of the forces are actually, we're using that hill, that burial, as a structural right. member as well for resolution of force. Yep, yeah. and it's easier to do when we have dry dirt. Well, we do have some dry piles and we have gravel, which compacts pretty well. So we have our, uh, our orientation all laid out with string lines here, and now we're leveling out the area where the tire work's gonna go. Um, we're, we're getting it basically, for the most part, level with the dirt that's here and then we're laying sand over that. Uh -huh. Let's get a nice compact flat surface uh, that we can lay the tires on. Well, what I'm doing is leveling the ground. We have a kind of a clay wet situation here. So we're, I'm just putting a layer of sand down so we get a pretty nice level situation to put our first course of tires down. And uh, I'm about ready to lay out the first corner of tires right about now. This is a three tire turn situation. Um, because we don't want square corners. We're not going for this type of, you know, situation because tires, tires want to kind of curve when they go around a corner. So what I'm creating is what we call a three tire turn. And I'm starting in a corner. The center of the tire is going to want to be at the front edge of that tire. So really a three tire turn is going to be more like we, I mean, we could do this, we could lay it out with more string lines and have this exact center mm -hmm. going out to the fronts of those tires. I'm just eyeballing it mm -hmm. and we're fine. You know, this building type lends itself. And that allows um, the tires to kind of push against each other and create strength. And when you, when you berm against it, it kind of creates a lock situation. If we just had like a the, tight oh, turn like this. Mm -hmm. slide or... Yeah, it's hard to lock the tires as you're going up. You know, this way it just kind of rolls yeah, through, and, yeah, and um, so 
So I'm basically kind of eyeballing a three tire turn here. Um, mm -hmm. um, we're making the floor level a little higher than the existing grade was. Mm -hmm. That's why we threw a bunch of this, this hill collapse a little bit. We threw it in the middle because, yeah, we're going to, what I call burn one course. We're just going to mm -hmm. sacrifice the first course and make that floor level. Mm -hmm. So we've raised the building up on basically a plinth, you know, so water just always positively drains. And yes, I want to get the tires a little embedded and locked in, like undisturbed soil, because this top layer was so glippity glopped and wet, um, which glippity glop means <laughs> wet mud, um, that I just felt more comfortable if we just embedded them, you know, down a little bit.